So the lovely Beverly Densham, welcome to Media for the Soul YouTube channel. And of course, we're here to celebrate whoop, whoop, whoop. one year anniversary of I Talk to Angels. First of all, congratulations, Bev. I mean, what does that mean to you, one year old? Oh, I'm just really proud. I really, I feel really proud that it's one year, one year. I can't believe it, actually. But it's really interesting. Yeah, it's a happy birthday. I talked to angels, my beautiful book. It feels to me, it feels like a little Wimbledon trophy. It feels like a legacy I'll be leaving behind when I'm physically not here anymore. So you better enjoy everybody then as well. <laughs> Get it before she's right. gone. <laughs> um, <laughs> that sounds terrible. But no, I mean, it, it means a lot because, um, yeah, it's just been quite a journey. And I just think it's such a beautiful little toolbox for people to help with the angels and daily life and every day of the life. And I bought all my pen, I bought all my colored pens along today because I just love, I love the fact how it's a, I love how it's a, a little friend to someone really that they can color with and interact with and journal with and get to know their angel more and the angels more and, you know, obviously to help in life. That's what it's for. It's obviously to help. So, yeah. It's amazing. And it is. And there's so many layers to the book, Bev. You know, it's not just an angel book. It really isn't. Like you said, it's like a companion. That's how I kind of perceive it is that, you know, it has been my friend when things are a bit kind of not going my way. And I'm a bit like, oh, I always reach for it. Even though I know you, if I didn't know you, I would still reach for the book. As you can see, you know, <laughs> I've got pages that I go to, you know, that I absolutely love. But, you know, is that what you envisioned when you first kind of sat down and think, you know, I want to write a book? You know, was that important for you? Well, yes, yeah, of, of course, but I didn't think about writing this book because um, it, my, I was recommended to the publisher and then the publisher approached me, so I had no plans on writing this book. It all kind of appeared, just as these things do. And I was obviously so excited to be asked, and I was like, yes, definitely. And then with my initial writing, my initial writing was turned down by my publisher, and they set me the challenge of writing differently. And then they're like, yes, right, we're on a roll now. And then at that point, the vision became very clear of how it was going to become this incredibly, not just read it. Yeah, I think it's really good to read from cover to cover. But then, then it's all about, as you say, it, it, it's about it being incredibly interactive and something. I mean, my copy here is so battered. I mean, it's um, I read. I mean, I do. I do read a page a day or more, and mm. you know, coloured in. And but yeah, it's, it's about it. You know, picking that page a day, or picking a page to give you guidance. You know, a tip of the day, or or like an exercise to do that day, or affirmations to do that day, or to deepen your relationship with your angel to help with. Maybe you need to go on a healing walk, and it's like, oh, actually. Um, you know, take it with you with your pen and paper or, or your, your pen and your book and you're going on your healing walk because actually there's some problems and stress going along and A, you need a walk to blow the cobweb away if you're lucky like you with Bert the dog, but um, <laughs> if not, you can go with your angel and you, you can find solutions and, and gradually realise and trust that you're, you can receive that guidance and I suppose that it, that's what happened. Um, it was very much, it was very clear, I had a very clear structure of it, that that's what was going to happen with it. Um, but I kind of think it's, it becomes more and more obvious that that's the case as the years gone on. Yep. Because people have shared their journeys like you. I mean, what does that mean to you, Bev? You know, as is, is an author and birth in a book, you know, it's always special. But, you know, I Talk to Angels is you know, for me, been a book that's been so important. And of course, you know, we've had the worst year ever last year. And of course, it's still not over yet. But having a book like I Talk to Angels, it's important, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's, um, I'm just saying some words here. I think it's, um, I've got just noticing the word profoundly. Um, it is profoundly important because there are so, I mean, obviously, there's been a world pandemic, but not just that, just life anyway is up and down like the waves of the sea and I think then if you've got a tool you can grab hold of and you know it's going to help you and and get you a bit more on the straight and narrow or you know during that really sad moment um you know lift you up or encourage you to take time for some self-care of having a 
angel morning routine of how to do an angel morning routine or what could you include in that angel morning routine or an evening routine or oh I'm going to do a I'm going to light happy birthday book but you know you can light a candle and then there's a guardian angel candle exercise it's like oh actually I can meditate with this gorgeous candle with my guardian angel and it's telling me how to do it but then way better than that you're getting your own guidance then from your angel and you learn to gradually trust that so I think it's quite you know and you, you're like wow well, then you know you've got something that's gonna you know help every day um, not just during those good days and um, I think I think for some of us if we don't use these sorts of tools you know you go down you know mm -hmm. you go down the pan um, and we don't want anyone going down the pan uh, mentally emotionally physically um, so I think the angels love everyone unconditionally and want to help. Um, and this is a really sort of, um, user friendly way of doing that right from beginners up to, you know, you know, someone like myself or other practitioners, you know, or authors are using it too, because we need it as well. You know, you need it, we need it. And then, um, that that's quite exciting really because it's it's helping and making it's making that difference in in different areas really and it really is bev it really really is and you mentioned there as well about you know people you know connecting with their own you know guardian angel and that is so important for people to do and it is with your book it does talk you through you know step by step but not just to connect but really build that relationship you know the book is great if people are just starting out but also you know if people are really experienced you know like yourself yeah. you know it doesn't matter you will still get something from the book they can color they can um you know eventually it gets filled, filled up but then often you find there's something else to color in there's something else there's something else you need that day one of the most beautiful exercises i think personally in, in the book which is an incredible exercise in harmonious it's in the harmonious relationship chapter actually with the angels and it's called there's this exercise called where there we go here it is it's you color in with these heart-shaped flowers and heart-shaped petals it's all about you're creating, you're creating your best life and what you love about your life now, but also then what about you, what you're wanting to bring into your life, but then you take, it constantly takes you a layer deeper of like, in any area of the book really, but like another layer deeper of how, what else your angel would like to help you with in that area of your life. And then, then you can journal with that and go deeper and, um, you know, A, it's very enjoyable. I love doing that one with my mum. Perhaps we'll have to do that sometime mm. for us together. Oh, we're going to have a shout out for your mum, Bev. Hey, Bev, oh, mum. Hi, <laughs> mum. <mom. laughs> Hi, Chris's mum, too. <laughs> Hello, everyone's mum. Everyone's <laughs> mum. <laughs> but, you know, it can help, you know, like this one can help in your health, self-care, abundance of money, home, leisure, hobbies, work, family, friends, personal spiritual development, and self-love and romance. And it's just like, and then you can delve deeper by bringing angel cards into it or other oracle cards into it. And then you're like, oh, it's giving you a whole beautiful, you know, your own retreat at home with the angels, which is rather lovely. That's a beautiful way to kind of, you know, put it your own retreat with the angels, but at home. Yeah, That's beautiful because many is. of us are, are missing that. But, you know, it does give you kind of, you know, tips, tricks. You put tips throughout the whole book as well. And it's a lot of you know, your kind of experience as well, Bev, which I love about it. But it's like a little toolbox, you know, for us yeah, to is. start working with the angels, which is beautiful. Yeah, it is a toolbox. Yes, as you say, it is helping people see, hear, feel, and know the messages more of the angels, which can develop at, at any time. I mean, we were having a chit chat before the podcast today, and the angels were chatting to me, confirming what you were saying. Yeah, very this and da da da. And it's like everything was, you know, just, you know. So it's it's nice when you can have kind of three way conversations, really, as well. That you know, once you've used the book a lot, you start to you might discover that you're a very clear cognizant person, a very thinking person, which might do your head in actually, if you are a think very thinking person. But mm -hmm. then if you read the chapter on clear cognizance, which is about knowing the messages of the angels and clear thinking with the angels, you might also notice what your personality type a little bit more. You might be a bit of a workaholic, think too much, find it hard to meditate. And you're like, oh, brilliant. I've read the chapter, I'm normal, I'm normal. It just mm -hmm. means, yes, you do need to meditate more. But you might not switch, and then you don't have to beat yourself up anymore. That your mind might wander. 
because you can have an excited mind or an inspired mind or have creativity coming in. Well, good for you if you have your creativity coming in in meditation. I say, well done. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> you're, you're an open channel. It's good. <laughs> and you get messages from the angels in meditation. Well done, you. But at the same time, of course, it's good to breathe and relax. And there is a breathe and relax, you know, meditation in the book and stuff. But um. But the angels just love helping in every area. And sometimes, you know, life can be some of our events we've done together, you know. Mm. As you say, there's sometimes tough things that go on and we need to bring in that forgiveness. So there's things like, you know, cord cutting with the angels in the book to help with that kind of angel healing side. If there's been something really, you know, a person, people or situation that's been really stressful, past or present, and they might have even died and they're still stressing you out. Um, so cord cutting with the angels can really oh help you feel free as a bird again to move forward and feel good and enjoy life because the angels just want us to enjoy life so this is what it's about that's what the angel want us want us to bring us back to that point with the book all the time it is and i think that's important you know the angels are there through the hard times difficult times but also the angels want us to have fun yes. and enjoy life i think that's such a yes. big part that we all forget you know no we don't everything Chris, is... we don't we don't forget it do we no, we, we don't but we'll no. Stop... we don't no when bev's there we don't no <laughs> when bev's there we don't but you know when we, we grow do up life, life does get a little bit more serious doesn't it oh, and boring. that's why it is important to have fun yeah we love having fun Chris and I love meeting up. <laughs> Roll on more events and podcasts. We do, we do. I'll invite you back on mine again. Don't worry. <laughs> back on my podcast as well. So yeah, I mean, also, you know, it's, it's just about having the fun, but it's about manifesting and visualizing and creating what you want in your life. And the final chapter of the book, Bingo, is about bringing in your hopes, your dreams, your visions, your goals, and enjoying the journey with the angels and it's just absolutely exciting if you make it you can if you like it's your choice so that's quite a nice thing in that chapter love it bev it is it's beautiful so what is next for i talk to angels you know will there be a second book bev will it be available on audible yes i really uh, i've had a vision of that actually not about the next book at this stage but i mean if books take years to come out i mean I wrote this book and then and then it takes about a year to publishing and all of that. So it takes forever, the whole process. But um, at the moment, yeah, I mean, I did, it's interesting. I was doing an angel meditation for Spirit and Destiny magazine like, um, as one of their angel experts doing the event every week. And I got everyone visualizing a gift from their guardian angel. And I, I got several times my book was in a box from my angel and I saw the book in different languages. And I also saw it on Audible as well. So I'd like that, definitely like that to happen for it to be on Audible. Love it to go into different languages. I um, just love it to help millions of people ultimately because, I mean, obviously it's Kindle and paper. I think paperback's beautiful, but Kindle's obviously practical for many people. But yeah, I just love, I just love more and more people to go on the journey with it because I feel at the moment there's a lot more for it to do to help. I feel... In a way, I feel it's not helping enough. I feel more people need to find out about it to experience it. And I think the beauty of books is they're, they're really cheap. They don't cost much. So I think it's an incredible, you know, affordable tool for people. So I suppose my hope and dream is just loads more people get their hands on it, I suppose. But, you know, because it, it's there to help and inspire. It definitely is. And it's doing that, Bev, it is in his bucket load. So last question for yourself, Bev. So what is your favourite part of the journey of I Talk to Angels? Well, the angels are really talking to me strongly. They're like, they want to answer the question rather than me. <laughs> um, I get the word every day, I think. And I think I, yeah, for me, it's the everyday thing of it. It's the everyday that this is something you can just take hold of every day to give you that amazing tip or guidance of the day. So it's connecting you in with the angels every day for that tip and guidance. So it's just about it being a, on your bedside table or close at hand that, um, that you've got it there for you. And, and for me as well, it's, I, I always have another book on the go myself, but I always read um, at least a page in my own book every day you can flick through the page or ask your angel to give you a page number I think it's the everyday thing that's really special to me 
uh, for me uh, personally and also um, and professionally as well. And, and obviously, um, my job is to pass that everyday thing over um, of helping with the angels in that way. Oh, which you do, Bev. And I absolutely love it. You know that. And of course, for me, I picked out one page just before I asked the angels, like you just said. And for me, the chapter that I got was chapter seven, which is you're never alone. So for me, for everyone that's watching, you know, right now, your angels, your guardian angels, you know, you are never by yourself, no matter what situation or anything. You know, Bev really gives us the tools. You know, the tips is a tip there as well. But of course, you know, it doesn't matter if you're new to angels, you've been working with angels all your life, you will still get a lot from my talk to angels. It's a beautiful book. You know, I took it into my heart straight away, Bev. And it's only one, you know, one is still a baby. So it's got years and years and years to grow. Mm -hmm. So from myself and media for the soul, Bev, congratulations on oh. your one year anniversary. La, la, la. Blow the candle out, Bev. Thank you. Hey, well done. Da, 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 da. thank you <laughs> i love it bev i love it love it where can people find you bev you can find me at angeliclifestyle.com beautiful thank you so much bev lots of love and light lots of love thank you for having me wow.